Hi everyone, I'm Dave from Polypad and I am excited to show you our Polypad updates for November 2022. I'm going to start in the geometry section and the first category is now called polygons and shapes. It used to be called just polygons because we've added a circle tile. You can change the size of the circle with the black handle with a click and drag. Of course, you can change the color of the circle as you like. And if you've made a circle whose size you're happy with, you can head to the gear turn off show handles, and now the handle to change the size is gone. So that's super exciting. Continuing with our circle theme for November updates, I want to show you what we've added to our fraction circles. So I'll add a quarter to the canvas, and there is now a handle that allows you to change the size of the fraction circle just with a click and drag. So there's a fourth. I can do it with ninths as well. Of course, it works for all the fraction circles. Uh, and now there's also the option to split this up into pieces. So I can click split, and now each of these becomes its own piece that I have the same handle with as well. And as I do this, I can make as many ninths as I like. And just like there was split, I can also select all the ninths. I've made a mess of ninths here. When I click merge, Polypad is going to make as many full circles as possible, and then we'll see how much is left over. So I'll click Merge. Oh, how lovely is that? And you can see I got really close to three holes, but I had two and eight ninths on the canvas. The final new feature with Fraction Circles is the Rename button. So I have three fourths here. Every time I click um, in the action bar, click the Rename button, it'll give me an equivalent fraction to three fourths. So there's six eighths. We have it as 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, all the way up to 30 seconds. And of course, at any point, I can use the handle to change the size of it, click split if I wanted, and pull them apart. And if you start with a full, uh, a full fraction circle as a whole and use the rename button, you can get all fractions up to 30 seconds. And so you can obviously go the other way as well. So if you wanted 20 seconds, you could go here, and then here is for 20 seconds. So that's awesome. Really excited about those features in the fraction circles. One last thing under the, under the circle theme for November. I'm going to add uh, our spinners to the canvas. This is the uniform spinner where you can use the handle to change the number of sections. And on the custom spinner, you can change the size of each region. If you click on the circle, you can add a region or if you click on a handle, that goes away. That is not new. What is new is the ability to change the color of individual regions. So when I double click on this, I can change the color to green. Maybe I want a couple of these here to be green. I'll change this one to red maybe. And here in this, uh, on, on the custom spinner, the same thing can happen as well. So then of course I could spin both of those. So that's exciting. And then uh, we've added some sound effects and an animation to our random numbers. So as I click randomize here, you can actually see in here that we're getting a random number every time. Awesome. Uh, we have also changed the way in which you can customize all the features on a Polypad Canvas. So you can customize what appears in the toolbar, what appears um, as options on the right-hand side of the canvas, what tiles appear, what appears in the action bar, and all that can be done under the File tab. So I'm going to click on the File tab on the left, and there's a button here in blue says Customize. I'm going to click it. I get all of these toggles that I, I can use to control what's on the canvas, and then there's an option down here to further select the tiles and tools. There is a complete tutorial video on this process on our YouTube channel and at mathagon.org slash learn. So if you're interested in, in learning more about how to fully customize a Polypad Canvas, how to use all of these, all of these options here, go watch that video on our YouTube channel or at mathagon.org slash learn. Let me close by showing you two new tiles we've added to the music section on Polypad. So I'm going to go to Games and Applications and click on Music and first show you the keyboard that we've added. You can click and drag to play, and I can expand the keyboard in both directions. 
And if you click on the musical note in the action bar, let me zoom out a little bit, you can control how the keys are labeled. So I can get them as letters, all sorts of options, and change the scale and the starting note. We have a lot of features coming soon with the keyboard. So uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media accounts to stay in the loop on these updates. Uh, we've added a song tile as well. So you can make songs with uh, virtual manipulatives in the song tile. Before I show you the song tile, just as a reminder, we added these uh, a month or so ago. You can now play music with the number bars polygons and fraction bars. So I'll put a couple on the canvas. And on each of these tiles, you can push play and you can hear the tile. How great is that? And for each of those tiles under the musical note, you can change the labels, the tempo, the note, the sound that makes, etc. You can play all of them at the same time play when it gets to that point in the canvas. If you want to learn more about all of the music tools on Polypad, head to our YouTube channel or mathagon.org slash learn. We have done some math and music in Polypad webinars. That is a real deep dive into these music tools. But what's new is this song tile. So you can put a polygons, number bars, fraction bars into the song tile and various notes. You can extend the song tile in both directions. So I could make it, I could go up, it could go down, and I can put things in here. So I'll put a polygon and some fraction bars. Let me add more to the song tile here. Let's put in, I don't know, a triangle. I could do a couple triangles. Let me copy the triangle, put one down here. We'll do a trapezoid, and let me just stick in another number bar. And then I can play this to hear the song that I've made. Not the best song I've ever made. I could change the note if I wanted to. We'll make this a, uh, a kick. And in the song tile, you can change the number of times that it'll play. So I'll have it loop twice. And it'll go back around and play it again. That's exciting. Of course, in the... Um, under the musical note for the song tile, you can change the scale, the labels, the tempo, etc. And as I showed you, any tile in there, you have a number of options that you can change for the, for the sound of that specific tile. And finally, you can attach song tiles together. So if I put another song tile on the canvas, I'll just copy the trapezoid put in here. You might have noticed there is a blue triangle on the song tile, which is the start of a, uh, a connector. So I can connect these two song tiles together. Let me change the loops back to one. When this first one finishes, it'll play the second one. So great. So you can connect a, uh, a number of song tiles to make all sorts of fun, interesting songs. We really look forward to seeing what people can make with the song tiles. Uh, and again, you can learn more about music on Polypad on our YouTube channel or at mathagon.org slash learn and go watch our math and music webinar series. So those are the November updates. Again, piano, song tiles, spinners, and fraction circles, circles, all sorts of exciting updates. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.